Hi everybody, welcome back. This video is a bit different. It's not a canvas, it's coasters. Um, so I'm gonna show you the whole process. I had a commission to do four coasters with, with a nature theme. So trees or leaves, the client suggested um, trees. Um, you'll see from the video, I did, it was third time lucky. I did three um, bases for the, for the coasters. They just, they just weren't working. And then I finally got what I wanted and then swiped a tree image onto all three of them, all four of them, sorry, um, and ended up loving them. So then I resined them, put the cork backing on, so then you'll see the final, the, the finished coasters. Um, so yeah, enjoy watching. These are the colours I'm going to use. So I've got two greens. I've got, oops, sorry, pe both Pebio Studio Acrylic, so iridescent green yellow, and then earth green. And then I've got Amsterdam br um, bronze colour. I use little tiles, um, four inch tiles, and I've put some gaffer tape on the back. So the reason I do that is just to stop the paint sticking to the bottom and also more importantly, the resin. Once I've resined these, I can just peel off this tape and all the little drips just ping off with the tape so that they're, yeah, so that the, the surface is left really nice and smooth. Then I can put cork over the bottom um, to create a nice soft surface to put the coaster down on the table. The paints are mixed to my uh, Dutch pour consistency, so they have flood fluorotrol in and water. I'm also using Amsterdam white paint with Australian fluorotrol to make some cell activator. I'll put all the recipes in the description of this video. The first idea I'm going to try out is to create, um, I'm going to do a swipe with the um, Australian fluorotrol, the cell activator, and I'm going to um, swipe diagonally. The reason being is I then want to draw out over the top the shape of a leaf with the um, the different, um, the stem, the, oh, what do you call it, the veins in the leaf. Um, so I want to do it diagonally. So to apply the colour, I think I'm literally just going to drizzle it all over, tilt it out a little bit so I've got a nice even smooth um, coverage and then swipe. So to create the swipe, I've got my cell activator in a little pot here. I've just given it a good shake because it does separate. So I'm just going to pour a little bit onto my worktop here. I'm going for a line about the length of the diagonal. Actually, this isn't going to... OK, so I've got these pieces of plastic I'm going to swipe with. It's not long enough. So um, I was hoping just to do one swipe, but it's not long enough. So I'm just going to, to dip that in. I'm going to find where I think heart diagonal is. Put it down and then just swipe across. Right, we've got too much cell activator on there because can you see how white it is? It's not, it's too thick. So I wonder if I can just go again and drag that across. Right, that's better straight away. Right, absolutely loving them. The only thing I'm critical of at the moment is that the, you don't have that beautiful pattern falling over the edge. So what I might end up doing is actually painting the edges a different colour afterwards, almost just to frame the leaf, because I think that would actually work quite really quite nicely. The balance of the greens and the browns really, really like. So let's think about the leaf now. So I think to start with, I'm just going to do a pretty sort of standard leaf and see how it looks. I've got lots more paint, so if this doesn't work, if I make a mess of this, it really doesn't matter, I will just do it again. Right. 
right new really not happy with these at all i don't like them at all it's not worked how i was hoping but i think i've worked out why i think i need to actually do a white base right plan b let's put a white base down So I'm now going to do this exactly like I did my tree paintings. I did my Four Seasons tree swipes. So I'm going to do this now exactly like that. And I think I might even go for the tree instead of the leaves. Now that is perfect. That isn't, and the other one isn't. I think because this is so small, this is so much more difficult than I was expecting. I think I might swipe with something different. I might actually just swipe with a piece of kitchen roll. I've got some here. That is spot on. That is absolutely perfect. But it's just the problem with the consist with the continuity. Can I can I do this repeatedly? Nope, don't like that either. Right, third time lucky. I'm going to go for my white base again. And also, when I put the colour down, I'm going to put a little bit more down, I think, and I'm going to do it in wiggly lines. Right, I'm happy. <laughs> it works. Um, really, really happy. What a wonderful combination of the three colours and the white. Really happy. So that's taken three attempts to get something I'm happy with. But funnily enough, that was the easy bit. So I've now got the tree part to do. I'm going to do tree. I'm not going to do the leaves. Um, I think the trees will actually look better and that's what the original idea for my client was to do some trees so to do the tree i've got my little thin bit of plastic again i'm simply going to pull the paint up and go off at an angle
love it really really happy I think that is literally all i need to do really happy with that that is definitely a tree i'm just going to go one more time just to try and draw a little bit more white through yeah really happy try and show you up close and the right way round I'm going to put that to the side because I don't want to knock it So here they are finished. It's taken me ages, but love them. I'm so happy with the result. I love that really beautiful mix of the two greens and the bronze. Um, I think it's a really good balance. Um, I love the subtlety of the tree going through it. Um, and I like where where you when I pulled through it breaks up the cells and breaks up the lacing. So it has a really it looks really effective. Um, I think these will be really shimmery with the, with the two iridescents when they're dry. Um, and then I will resin them. Um, yeah, really pleased. Love the lacing, love the colours. Really, really happy. So the coasters are now totally finished. Let me show you them. Um, so the tree just worked beautifully. I've resined them. I bet you can see just the edge of the resin there. There, I've put two coats of resin on. I've put a little bit of sparkle in the resin. Um, I've put some uh, self-adhesive cork backing on them. Um, the, the gloss and the shine is just, it's just so slick. It's just so smooth, so beautiful. Um, just love the fact that they are all different. So they're all the same design, but you've just got a little bit of variation between them all. Um, and just a love, love, love the sparkle. Um, show you the lacing has just worked beautifully and then it's just obviously interrupted by the tree silhouette um yeah just so happy with them um really surprisingly i love the colors i wasn't sure about just uh bronze and greens um but they've just got a real um yeah just a real natural sense to them um, which is what exactly what the client wanted um great thank you so much for watching do, if you like them please do hit the thumbs up button um, and do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.